Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, earlier today, about 3.12 p.m., I received a phone call from Coach Petrino, and uh, while I was on a bus returning from a chancellor's uh, retreat, at that time, Coach Petrino shared with me some information he had not previously shared. Um, specifically, that information was that there was another uh, passenger on the motorcycle and that that passenger was an employee of ours here at the University of Arkansas in the athletic department. When I received, we arrived back on campus at about 5 o'clock, um, I contacted Coach Petrino and asked him to come to uh, the facilities to meet with me. Uh, I visited with him at about 7.15 this evening. Um, we had a conversation. He shared some information with me. Uh, he admitted that he had not been totally forthcoming and forthright with me about the accident and the people involved in the accident. Um, he also shared with me the reasons that he outlined in the release that you now have why he didn't share that information. Um, after our meeting concluded, I asked him to uh, remain in the facility while I considered the information I had. And then at about 8.30, I informed Coach that uh, given this information, the freshness of the information, the short period of time that I've had the information, um, that I was going to put him on administrative leave while I take the time necessary to review this personnel matter. Um, I've asked Taver Johnson, our assistant head coach, to uh, assume responsibilities for administration of the program in his absence. I expect to move very expeditiously in my review of this personnel matter and uh, hope to have a resolution soon. I certainly don't have all the answers here tonight as, uh, as we meet, but uh, again, I have an obligation and responsibility to uh, obtain the information and then act appropriately on that information. So with that, I'm uh, happy to take some questions. No, it's paid administrative leave.